I put this on 3-6 Mafia themselves. This thing right here is the legendary Bundo Bird, and I think it's amazing. I think it's unique. We need more of this right here instead of snobby-ass purists complaining about how, oh, everybody's ruining everything. They're swapping engines into cars that don't need to be swapped. Maybe, just maybe, if your wife was born with enough ass, she wouldn't be ruining sundress season every motherfucking year. That's not even the crazy part about this particular build. Let me get a look close up. This thing spins to 9,000 RPM. It has been tuned. The heads have been ported by Frankenstein Engine Dynamics, the same people that I just got done talking about. These wonderful people right here, make sure you hit up Frankenstein Engine Dynamics. Send your heads to them. Don't matter if it's a Honda head or um, LT head, LS head, Coyote head. Listen, they going to treat you right. I stand by that. Oh, bro, this thing nastier than E.T. with the OnlyFans. No, bro, this man zero to 60 times faster than two shakes of a lamb's tail. So you take this to a cart meet nowadays, you're going to have a, a shit ton of young people telling you, um, bro, I feel like you should have went with an illness. I feel like your mother should have swallowed your motherfucking ass. Don't tell me what to do with my goddamn money. Worry about you. I built my shit the way that I want to. That's how y'all need to start replying to people. A, a, a motherfucker will be more mad at a build like this than the owner is. That's that's just absurd. I'm starting to realize that Texas may not be a real place. Straight out of Fort Worth, Texas. We have a twin turbo, fully gutted, roll caged Trailblazer SS, bro. Maybe, maybe y'all don't pay attention enough. For the last two years, people have been calling me a quack. Bro, they ain't like that in Texas. They don't daily drive 3,000 horsepower Lambos and GTR. You a fucking liar. I put every YouTube paycheck that I make on every bit of what I'm saying. These guys will laugh at you. They will fucking laugh at you. If you come down there to Texas talking about, I want to race somebody. And they ask you, so, um, what's, okay, cool. We can't, we can't. We're going to do a $2,000 run. What's under your hood, though? And you tell them, man, it ain't nothing but a uh, 383 two-boat main with a... They're going to laugh at your ass. They, you ain't going to be able to finish it. Your junkyard built 5.3 with a diesel turbo you stole off of somebody's semi-truck is not going to make a difference down there. Especially with shit like this. I know it make a bit of about maybe 1,300 horsepower. This thing is nastier than Betty White off a Royal Honey Pack. How, like, how do you race somebody who makes... A Whipple Coyote's worth of power in just one turbo. And somebody's going to look at this and go, I bet he gets terrible gas mileage. I bet it isn't even street legal. Shut your whole ass up, bitch. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Who the fuck worries about gas mileage or a warranty or if it's street legal if you at a drag strip trying to race somebody? You know what the fuck you sound like? It sound like you said, oh, I just broke a nail. <laughs> That's what you sound like, you dumb fuck. I hear some old head now. This man don't know what he's talking about. He lying. My 468 Stroker Nova will get his ass kicked. They will send you the fuck home. These guys don't have a three second zero to 60 time. A truck like this zero to 60 time probably 2.2 seconds.